In today's presentation, we're going to cover the topic of maintenance of an irrigation system. So why do we have irrigation checks? Whatever your surface, whether it's a football ground, golf course, cricket ground or rugby pitch, effective irrigation is vital to have the healthiest grass and to affect their playability, whether it's a slick, fast-paced game or a heavier, slow game. Yet when it comes to good housekeeping, it's often that irrigation does not attract the same attention as the specialist machinery cutting the grass. Routine irrigation inspections are as important as any other aspect of professional turf maintenance and allow you to take control of any issues, providing the opportunity to correct them before they turn into anything bigger. The consequences can vary from a component having to be replaced or it needs to be, in worst case scenario, lots of downtime and large costs renovating and refitting an entire system prematurely. So what are the general checks of irrigation system? Irrigation is one of those things that will give you a lot of information that you can use to decide what is causing the issue. Some of these indicators can be watering cycle repeats, blowing fuses regularly, blank LED displays, turf not being watered, zones not functioning, no water in one or all zones, no water at the sprinkler heads, one or more zones won't stop watering, water leaks typically near valves or lowest points in the system, sprinkler heads not popping up or staying up after watering, flooding areas, block nozzles, and the sprinklers do not rotate or continue to rotate in one direction. Overspray may also be an issue, but this is more likely due to the wind. Visual checks. It's best to look at the overall performance of your irrigation system throughout the season on a weekly basis minimum. But this can be a big job and one often shared with the grounds and greens team contributing, checking the turf while they mow, taking pictures and reporting back any issues. The first sign that an irrigation system is experiencing problems are mainly visual. Dry patches, soggy turf, runoff and areas of pooling. For example, a few years ago I visited a golf club that I thought had a sprinkler performance issue. When I arrived, I saw a green stripe on the turf running up to where the course's main line would be, in contrast to some of the surrounding brown areas which immediately suggested the problem wasn't the sprinklers but a leak within the pipework. Why is it important to flush the system? Flushing the system prevents clogging and reduces the accumulation of pollutants such as stagnant water, sand or soil. Flushing involves opening the valve in the main line, subline or lateral lines while under pressure. With the increase in water flow velocity, pollutants are pushed out of the system. The system should be flushed at regular intervals and frequency depends on the water quality and age of the system. I would certainly aim to do this at the start of the spring after the cold weather ready for the new season. Pipes. The best way to establish if you've got a leaking pipe is to perform a pressure test on the mains. Switch everything off and pressurise the mains network and see how long the pressure lasts in the system. If there is a leak or a serious fracture, you'll see the pressure drop quickly. For those with a non-pressurised system, where sprinklers are not performing as well as you'd expect them to while the pumps are working flat out, that's an indicator of a problem somewhere too. If you've had a burst, once fixed, it's important to flush the section of pipe work extensively to prevent any pollutants travelling through the system, potentially causing further blockages. Similarly, if you've had a new system, flushing before you operate will eliminate any installation remnants and shavings from the pipe work. Seasonal checks. It's easy with an irrigation system to fall into the trap of out of sight, out of mind. But regular checks is important for the longevity and health of your system. It goes without saying that you wouldn't expect your machinery to run well if you hadn't changed the oil for 10 years. So it's a good idea, similar to winter and spring maintenance, to give your irrigation system a good thorough check. It's the equivalent of giving your irrigation system a good MOT, giving you the confidence that your system is fit for purpose. Irrigation wall mounted controllers. First of all, we can check the displays. If incorrect information is being shown, that could identify a recent power surge or outage. While no displays at all indicates a problem with the wiring, it could be as simple as a blown fuse. You may have been alerted to an issue because your water cycle is repeating or an area is not watered. One zone does not function or there is no water at all in all of your zones. Some brands have a handy chart and controllers which indicate the possible causes for all of these scenarios and the solutions. Identifying problems early with a sound preventative maintenance program. Here are the benefits of a preventative maintenance program. Water conservation, 
prevent catastrophic failures, reduce energy consumption, maintain irrigation efficiency, and prolong the life of an irrigation system and reduce long-term costs. A good preventative maintenance program should include daily maintenance checks. Daily maintenance checks should be checking for wet or dry areas, monitoring the pump system and checking the central controller to ensure it's properly programmed. Weekly maintenance includes observing sprinkler operation to make sure they're properly rotating and that there are no leaks and clogged nozzles. Less frequent but more important jobs include semi-annual pump system maintenance and raising the sprinkler levels, which often drop, which is why they're usually on swing joints. According to the Research Centre for Irrigation Technology, simply raising the sprinkler level can improve playing conditions and result in as much as a 6% water saving. And lastly, safety. Irrigation systems are often under high pressure and it's important to ensure that the system is either isolated or turned off before any maintenance is carried out. If performing visual checks on an irrigation head, you may require the system to be on, but a safe distance should be kept in case any issues arise. Ensure that your co-workers and peers are aware of you performing maintenance or checks on the system and report back once completed. Working in groups of two is always recommended. Valves can be opened once the supply is turned off to ensure that the pressure is removed.